Hello everyone, it's Kei. How's it going today? So this is the 30th of December 2020 on Wednesday. So it's towards the year end and this is going to be the last video for this year. So today's Wednesday. So I will talk about the case trading strategy, my own strategy. And especially I will talk about the range market. How I identify the range market and the reason why I avoid taking trades in the range market, I'll talk about it today. So this is a recorded video. This is not a live stream, but hopefully you enjoy this video today. So just a quick disclaimer, this information is basically based on my understanding knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So here we go. So I have already picked up a couple of pairs that are ranging on the daily chart. So let's take a look at the Euro AUD. So here is the Euro AUD daily chart as of 30th of December 2020 and this is a range market to me. Uh, you might think that this is downtrending because the end waves are continuously down like this way. So you might think that the market goes down this way continuously and I think so too. In the long term this is downtrend but what I mean by range market is that uh, I see the Kumo flat and the Kijun Sen flat. So, so that means, you know, more precisely, I see the Senko Span B angle to be flat and Senko Span A angle to be also flat and the Kijun Sen angle is completely flat. The green one, the Kijun Sen. Also recently, I just uh, made these lines to be a little thicker as per request from the traders. I, I heard that the, uh, the lines are a little too thin, so I made it thicker, so hopefully you can uh, see these lines more clear today. So anyhow, um, you see Senko Span B and Senko Span A flat and Kijun Sen flat and this is the range, this is no trend market to me. And that means this is downtrend in the long term because Chikou Span below the candles and the price is below Tenkan Kijun Kumo. But what I mean by no trend means that the market might come back to the Kijun Sen or the Kumo. So this is not the precise definition of the range or no trend. Uh, this is just my way of identifying the no trending market. And so once again, what I mean by no trends mean that the market might come back to the Kijun Sen or the Kumo. If you see this kind of market, then I say it's the range or it's the no trend market. So, so that means we have a support in this area we have a support at this uh, 1.603 area. So the market might be supported and it goes backwards this way. There's a potential, uh, you know, retracement along the way. And that's why I, wa I don't want to look for the sell chance in this particular market. But let's say the Kumo is going down and the Kijun Sen is going down. And in that case, although I see the range in these candlesticks, I expect the market breaks the previous low downwards this way because in definition of these Ichimoku lines this is down trending. The angle, a trend is down so I expect the market breaks previous low downwards which happens many often times. But right now I see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat and that's why um, there's a chance the market will be supported on this, on this uh, previous low and it goes backwards this way and that's why I don't look for any trading edges. So let me show you another example. Uh, Euro pound. We have a Euro pound also ranging market right now. We see the Kumo is flat again and the Kijun Sen also flat right now. We see a Kijun Sen little angle up right now but because this is in the Kumo I would say that this is a range market. And also we have too high volatility. The volatility has been too high so it just spikes up and down within this uh, Senko Span B. So I would say that this is range market. Uh, once again, there is no trend. So the market might go up and it might go down and I don't know which way it's going. So if I see this kind of market, then I won't touch it. So let me show you another example. That's Pound JPY. Pound JPY daily chart also shows that there is no trend because the Kumo flat, once again, the Senko Span B flat and A flat and the Kijun Sen is also flat right now. So, and also we see the volatility in the market. Previously, it's been ranging. Uh, the market 
has been a range like the Y wave range and also the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So that means the market might come back to the Kijun Sen or the Kumo. Like it happened last time, the market might come backwards, come, come down. And that's why, although I see the candlesticks below, or sorry, above the Tenkan Kijun Kumo, and Chikou span is slightly above the candles, I wouldn't say that this is uptrending because of this Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat confirmations. So let me show you what I uh, mean by the trending market. So I've seen a couple of pairs that are trending right now. So first one is Euro JPY. You see Euro JPY Kumo. If you see the Kumo shape, it's up Kumo. You see Senko Span B flat, but A is up and the Kijun Sen is up. Market is above the Tenkan Kijun Kumo. Chikou Span above the candles. So this is a very nice uptrend. So this is the one that I look for the buy chance. So the next one will be uh, Euro USD. Euro USD also uptrending. We see Kumo up, Senko Span B up, A up, and the Kijun Sen up. And the current price location is above Tenkan Kijun Kumo and Chikou Span all the way above the candles. So this is a decent uptrend. And this is exactly the, the market that I pick to look for the buy chance. So you see the difference? So once again, if you remember this chart and look at this Euro AUD, the first example I showed it to you, this is range, right? Obviously the market is losing, the market is losing this downtrend power. So it might be supported and comes backwards to the Kijun Sen. So instead of picking up this kind of, this kind of pair, I would look at other market to, for trading opportunities. So I hope you liked today's video as to how to identify the range market. So I will show you more and more chart examples uh, next year onwards. So hopefully you follow my lectures and um, yeah, learn something new uh, every day on my Forex channel. So once again, uh, this is towards the year end and this is the live, last live stream for this year 2020. So um, yeah, I always, always appreciate your uh, uh, support and follow uh, on my channel. So it's been such an honor for me to be able to do this every day. So um, yeah, thank you so much for your support. And I really wish you great success on your trading journey in the year of 2021 as well. And if you're interested in my hands-on trading, I do the GTS class. So if you click on the link below the description, there's a link to the page. And um, let me just briefly touch on this one because I talk about the range market on this um, GTS as well. So yeah, now the Global Trading School from April to June next year is open now. So you can uh, see this the detail of, the, uh, of this class in this page. I teach you, um, the, there are two, two interviews that you can enjoy. And also, uh, yeah, I teach strategy. Of course, my strategy KTS, uh, Kumo Kijun Sen angles, and multiple time frame confirmations, and how to enter the market, how to exit, and when exactly to move the stop loss break even and trade profit. I, I teach all these on this class and also, more importantly, I teach uh, money management. And money management is something that I don't really teach in this YouTube channel because this should be hands-on because the performance is different from among uh, you know, uh, different uh, traders. So I will ask you to write a trading journal uh, with the correct loss sizing, risk management. Uh, this is a sample and you, I, will, uh, I will give you the spreadsheet and you will track the record and I make some comments on your trace. So that's the second important aspect of this GTS class. And also, I talk about some psychological management too. Um, because you will be um, asking, you'll be asked to um, take three screenshots every time you take trace, entry, exit. Um, you, I ask you to take screenshots and based on this screenshot, I, I make some comments. And the comments will inv also involve 
a lot about the psychological and mental management while taking trace. So that's also the part of the GTS class uh, sessions. So um, once again, the GTS class is now open from April to June. The January to March session is already full, but now we have a April to June session 2021. So if you're interested, please write me an email and so that I can put you on the waiting list. So once again, thank you for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day. So I will see you on the next year, 2021. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold, right? Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you. Bye for now. Mata ne.